Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for into episode 5 of Grand Bellum. Okay, so, um, some of you, probably not even a lot of you, but some of you are probably wondering why the heck this is coming out Saturday. Um, I didn't get home from doing my important stuff with my mother until about 3.30 in the afternoon, and, um, I wanted to get home... ASAP, but my mother made some couple of stops and eventually we didn't get home until like 3.30. And I immediately had to start. And by the time I finished uh, Fruits Basket, it was like 10 o'clock. And I was like, um, okay, I can't really. I, I was like, as much as I would want to release both Grand Bellum and um, Old Maidens of your, in your Savage Season, I was like, I don't kind of want to clog stuff having being released uh for all of today so just for today's episodes that come out for this show and oh maidens they will come out tomorrow and then hopefully from episode five i mean not even episode five episode six to the end of this show i'm praying to god that this doesn't happen again once again i am sorry i didn't know it, it just happened and yeah other than that let's go ahead and get started in three two one go Maybe one of you could do it for her. I mean, we still know that she wants her quote-unquote wish is to have her mother come back, which I would love for their mom to come back because it, it just, growing up without your damn mom, mm -mm, it's not, uh, like, even though it wasn't with, like, that with me, I have my mother. But imagining that, it's sad. And, I mean, last week's episode was hella fucked up, uh, talking about their mom. This is probably going to be even worse. It's like, between this episode or really last week's and this week's and then going into maybe any of the few episodes of freaking um do you love your mom and uh her two hit multi-target attacks it went the emotions of it went very and i wasn't really imagining some of that stuff for today's episode but honestly just you know. <laughs> Are we finally going to have someone who's going to lose today? I mean, the only one who lost was the redhead girl. I at least want to see somebody. It's episode five. We'll be halfway done with this by next week. <laughs> Excuse me. Ha <laughs> 
<clears throat> yep, already. I mean, but hold on, they're going to hit like they will, right? But come on, man. Let's, let's be really rash and smart about this. Uh -huh. Then what else do you want her to do? God, they touch you. Here we go. I mean, God, she got to be the craziest one out of all these girls. Jesus Christ. I know I know sure her ass crazy, but mm -mm, I can't trust a little pale, pale blue hair girl because mm -mm, mm -mm. she not right.
See, like I said, I still want her to win this for her mom, but at the same time, I don't think she's going to win. I honestly think Shengatsu Among Us are going to end up destroying her in this episode, but I mean, we only have like 10 minutes in? 9 minutes in. So, I don't know. Yeah. But she might stop herself though. God damn this music. I, I can't. <laughs> she had to. Is she fighting with Kuro? No, she's fighting with that blonde. Yeah. Pale blue chick. Yeah. Be okay, let me guess, because you did something to her sister, right? I mean, come on. It has to be that fucking obvious. I'm just saying. Not, but I feel like I got some, oh shit. Well, okay, my guess who you ain't got on.
Nee, nee, hau es doch rein. This thing gonna turn into a damn dragon? No, not look. Hers look big compared to white lily. <laughs> what are you gonna do? How are you gonna defeat her now? Let's see. See, Anna, I love you, baby, but you need to calm your ass down. See, the one thing that I kind of dislike about Anna, she, all she sees is red towards Ernesta. I know Shin did a lot of shit to portray you in the end, but you gotta forgive and forget, honey, and start anew with her. The mansion must be down there. She had to. She could have just said, hey, it was me. Instead of it's like, no, let me tell you when this is over. How? No! Either one of these turkeys they love, but somebody's got to give. I mean, well, if you believe, if you can, then go ahead, boo boo. But then if you lose, it's on you. Nobody else got your sister's you. I don't know. Like, I'm scared for her. I, I she, we all know she really wants this, but. Uh, Bruh, I'm fucking scared. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't move. What is she gonna do? Uh, 
Just end it. End it. End it, please! Girl, how the hell are you still alive? Please don't die, I swear to God. You know, for a moment, if they would have ended the episode like that, I would have been hell of this. She in the dream. Her eye, okay, no, her eyes are the same. I thought they were looking a little different. Um. What the fuck? Okay. Damn. Mangatsu, what the fuck? Okay, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Excuse me? Oh, hell no. Nah. What the fuck? Are you fucking... No. No, I can't. I can't. No. No. I can't accept that. The fuck? The fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Number one. She literally went into Nene's memories. I never would have thought that her mother would have been like, what's a mage? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, her memories is gone. And that's the reason why she's doing it. Because her wish is to have her mom back with all her memories. Bruh, I can't. No, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do it. It hurts. That fucking hurt. Number one, freaking mine got to being OP as fuck. She got to over here getting her ass kicked by Anna. Now it makes me wonder, like, the memories or the wishes that they have that's very deep, deep, deep inside of them. Uh, mine got to got one. Anna got one. The turquoise hair girl got one. Uh, Kudon, she got one too, but Kudon's must be about her sister. But, honestly, I gotta say, what the fuck was that? So, I mean, Nene lost. I, I hate to say it, but Nene's lost and her wish is gone. So, I mean, there is now five girls left. 
I, I was expecting Nene to be the next one to lose her wish. I, in my opinion, I thought it was maybe going to be the turquoise hair girl, or at least could on because you know Anna's too important to Ernesta. Tarot cards? Oh shit, Anna, what the fuck? Mm -mm. Oh my, if that is baby Anna and baby Ernesta, I am so ready for it. It's everything. But Jesus Christ, like this episode was everything. I mean, the episodes, honestly, <laughs> we're only on, we're about to be on week six by next Friday. They've been really getting good. And I know a lot of people are kind of vague with this show. And there isn't a lot of people watching this. But really, after this episode, I kind of want to tell people, like, dead eyes, they need to watch the show. It, it's just, it's getting, every single week, it's getting better and better. Even though it still leaves me with a lot of old and new unanswered questions, I love it. It makes me want more, and it just makes me love Fridays even more, even though, you know, when you got six animes in one damn day and you're trying to get everything done, and you think it's inhumanly possible, but you can do it, though. Uh, but at the same time, like, girl, I mean, we know that Mangatsu is going to have to harness that power that she got with looking into Nene's, like, her memory, or really her wish of what she truly wants. And it makes you wonder, like, what could the rest of the girls be? For, well, we all know for Kudan, it's going to be for her sister. The ones who I really want to know the most, besides Shin, is the turquoise hair girl and freaking Anna. Because I feel like Anna wants to possibly forgive Ernesta for all the stuff that she's done. But at the same time, she has so much envy and hatred and... She and also rage, and she when she sees Ernesta, girl go from zero to sixty like a bat out of hell, wanting to beat the crap out of this woman, well this child, and just be like, I can't forgive you for what you've done to my family. My mom and my little sister may forgive you, but <laughs> me, no, I can't. And some people can learn to let go. While other people hold a grudge. But I don't know. I, I really just want to see Anna and Ernesta to come together. And hopefully that does happen. I mean, with the preview, it has these two together as little kids. So maybe we'll get to see everything eventually lead up to the point where um, Anna just <laughs> envies her. And be like, get the fuck out of my life. I don't want you anymore around me, my mother, my, um, my sister, and no one. You're just like, you're dead to me. And that's what she kind of really sees. Like, even though not really she and Dedora, it's just more of she hates her so much. I don't know. But then, like, I, there's a part of me, just a little teeny tiny bit, like the 1%, it makes me feel like Anna just maybe sees herself in her ass. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just saying, that's just me. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Grand Bellum. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Friday <laughs> for episode 6. Like I said, once again, I am sorry that this had to come out on Saturday. I didn't want it to come out on Saturday. But because of the fact is I was busy for the first half of the day and didn't come home until late and trying to get everything done. <sighs> yeah. It just happens. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.